Alrighty, traders, George here, and time for a look at the trades of the week. For those of you that have the balance beam model, or for those of you that are subscribing to the signals, these are shots from the video that you saw Tuesday morning. So for oil, I had two long entry possibilities and two short entry possibilities. And for the other one, that was the NASDAQ, and that one basically had one long and one short possibility around this balance beam here. The way things panned out, actually had some chop on the NASDAQ that booked a little bit of a loss. That was kind of a, a rarity for us here, but that's the way the strategy mixed with the price action. So the initial short here, this one filtered out due to time. This one here reversed and hit the initial stop loss of 15, which is pretty rare for the entry to be triggered and not have it at least go a little bit more in favor, but that's what happened here a couple times. The ensuing long easily hit target one. It actually almost hit target three, but I'm only booking to target one here, which is 22.5 points. The short that came later did the same deal. It stopped out. The long that came stopped out. But take note of this. The downward energy here went right to target one for the short, literally right to target one there. The action of price crossing back over that long entry point stalled on a dime at the target one for the long and then on the second break below over here for the short entry it made a beeline and stalled right on target one so even though the strategy that I put out to you guys would have had you not taking these trades if you're a balance beam trader you can do whatever you want and I know a lot of you took these trades later on past the relatively simple strategy that I had out here and you can see how well the traders are reacting at these uh, balance beam levels. It's absolutely critical to know where these things are. So just a little belief building to be had from part of a chart that most people wouldn't consider after they book a little bit of a loss. Okay, let's check out oil. Uh, this long here was filtered due to time, but it easily hit the 30 tick target. In fact, would have picked up quite a bit more based on that initial impulse. The long here that came at the prime entry at, at 3725s, I booked that to target one and to target one again that's a total of 940 bucks on one contract but note it made a beeline to target three here if you did a three lot on this guy you would have made almost five grand but I'm only booking to target one here so that you guys can see what I've been showing you all along that with a relatively small risk three hundred dollars uh, except for six hundred in gold occasionally that you can make some really good money by looking for big targets what most people would consider a trade or a extended target that's a scalper for a balance beam trader so the way to do it ie trade with a small account is to have that smaller risk and to look for bigger targets it's been proved week in week out here throughout these videos that up until a couple weeks ago I was sending out in advance for free so you all knew about all these trades here in advance before they happen and then this is what's happened so through 2016 we're just over 35,000 bucks here on these trades in these handful of markets looking at nothing else no other charts no other information no news no fundamentals just oil gold the Nasdaq the Dow and the S&P uh, I should make mention here that I've had a few stock signals go out to you guys. I'm not going to cover them today, but we will in training on Tuesday. Pfizer, 6.5% to target one. Chevron and Caterpillar are in the money, and they both popped a little bit in favor beyond the entry point. So all those are looking pretty good, and Pfizer is looking fantastic. Use the link at the bottom of the video. And you can learn more about the balance beam, how you can become an actual balance beam trader and do the exact same analysis that I do whenever you want to do it on whatever markets you're looking to trade. If you're in Europe or in Asia, you can look at currency futures. You can look at indice futures like the DAX if you're in Europe. And if you're in the U.S., of course, stocks and futures, you can hit it out of the park like I've been doing here uh, ongoing. You can also subscribe to these signals too, and you can get information by hitting the link at the bottom of the video. All right, gang, that'll do it for now. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you back in training on Tuesday.